Now to a spring break on a budget. ABC's Gio Benitez and Becky Worley are helping a family plan their spring break trip without breaking the bank. So does it make more sense to fly or to rent an RV to get there? Let's see what the answer is. Fly for spring break or go RVing. Two possible trips for Good Morning America. The Doe family from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're all excited about planning a family getaway. We're also trying to stick to a budget. Destination, the Outer Banks, North Carolina. I'll start looking at flights. There's a couple of different options as to where we can fly into. So we want to give ourselves sort of the best sort of radius to be able to find the best flight combination. So we're basically inputting all of the sort of nearby airports. Exactly. If we left on that Monday, even came back on that Saturday, even cheaper of a price. Left on a Tuesday, came back on that Saturday, 98 bucks. $98. Yeah, that's looking pretty good to me. This is why it makes a difference which airport you fly into. Totally. Because if we were to fly into Norfolk on those exact same days, the price goes up on that nonstop flight on another airline to $2,000. Bananas. We mapped out the route flying from Philadelphia to Raleigh Durham for 98 bucks per ticket, but you still need to drive about three and a half hours to the Outer Banks. Altogether, this trip could take about six hours for this family. We found a rental car for $49 a day. Now to find a hotel. You're giving up some amenities when you're staying in an RV, you know, like a pool or, you know, fresh towels, things of that nature. The original price, $412, with the early booker deal that you're getting here is $41 off. So the total price, including taxes and charges, is $371.40. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, this is a good one. So now let's see if taking an RV makes more sense for this trip. Becky, show us what you've got. I will, Gio. Come on in. Driving from Philly straight to the Outer Banks takes about seven hours in a regular car. Now, you may not think of RVing in the spring, but according to Don Price of El Monte RV in Dublin, California... Perfect time to do it because the, the pricing is better. Shoulder seasons like spring and fall offer discounts, 20 to 25 percent off summer rates, and campgrounds are also less crowded. And then there's your perception of an RV. It may need an update. These are not your grandma's RV. I mean, you got a TV, you got a microwave, gas range, fridge freezer, toilet, shower, and this one, sleep six. Most rental RVs are under 40 feet and no special license is required. The RV I'm driving is 26 feet long and it sleeps five. That could mean saving a lot of dough on accommodations. It's big, but I got used to it. I know from my own experience that kids love RVs and added bonus. The other nice thing is you can take your dog with you, which is huge for families traveling. <laughs> 